My name is Jeanette Dixon. I am a star director from Ohio, and I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to my training today. Never term again. Six tips for a successful Sensi restart. Okay, so I'm just going to dive right into it. Uh, first of all, welcome back if you're watching this. Chances are you are either relaunching your business or you have rejoined Cincy and you're starting fresh. And uh, welcome to you. I'm so excited to welcome you back. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is uh, help others be successful. So here we are and I am going to just kind of rapid fire the six things that um, you probably, if you termed, or if you're struggling in this business and you want to restart, these are things that you probably rarely did or never did, okay? And so these are the things that will help you have a successful relaunch of your business, okay? So tip number one, be active every single month. Uh, what is activity? It's 200 PRV. Uh, yes, you can do it. And you can do it every month. I know Cincy's rule is 200 every 12 months, but I need you to be active every month because when you're active every month, you are putting an emphasis on your business. You're putting yourself out there and people are going to know that you sell Cincy. They're going to want to come to you to buy, host, join, and Cincy Club. And you just, that has to be your focus to do 200 every single month. Okay, so... How are you going to do that? That brings me to tip number two. You have to be a visible consultant, okay? You just have to be visible. I see so many invisible consultants. Now, you might be saying, Jeanette, what do you mean by that? Okay, so an invisible consultant is somebody who is a consultant, but nobody knows they're a consultant. <laughs> Why does nobody know? Because you're not talking about it. You're not sharing the business. You're not doing anything. You're not doing follow-ups. You're not posting. You're not having parties. You're not fundraising. You're literally doing nothing to tell, to show people that you are a consultant. And if you're doing it, you're not doing very much, okay? Um, I see this a lot. I've had people come to me and say, well, I used to have a consultant, but I don't know where she went. She used to reach out to me, she doesn't anymore. Uh, I have no idea where she is, so I guess I need a new consultant. And sometimes I go back and I'm like, oh, they're still a consultant. Where are they? They're invisible. They're invisible to their customers. The customer doesn't even know where they are. The customer doesn't even know if they're still a consultant. So guess what? They're losing people. They're going to somebody else to fulfill their sensi needs, okay? Um, and this is what happens. And this is a lot of times why people turn because they're just not putting, put, they're not making themselves visible. Okay, so you have to be visible. Things that create visibility, regular postings. And I'm not talking once a year. <laughs> okay, I'm not talking every 12 months. You know, since he says you only have to have your 200 every 12 months, I say no, 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 no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because what happens is if you're only working your business one month of the year, that means 11 months of the year, there's other consultants out there uh, that are going to take your customers away from you. And you can't be mad at them. They're just, they're providing customer service that you are not. Okay, they're being visible. You are not. So, I like the rule of the 200 every 12 months because life happens to all of us and it gives us a little bit of wiggle room, okay? However, when we use that as a crutch to not work 11 months of the year and then we like, and then we get mad because other consultants are working and they're taking our people and all of the things, like that's not cool. It's, it's because you're not visible, okay? You have to be visible. And when you're visible and you're doing that 200 every single month, it becomes easier. Like you're, you're actually making your business harder on yourself. This might be why you termed and you had to come back because in the first time you were actually making it harder on yourself because you weren't being visible. You weren't putting a focus on being active every single month. Now, here's the other thing about being active every single month. Life happens. It just does. 
It happens to all of us. There's a surgery, there's a sickness, there's an accident, there's, uh, you know, you, you have a baby, you have a death in the family. There's all kinds of reasons that, you know, we might fall back in our business a little bit. But here's the thing, if you're active every single month, you don't have to worry about those times because it never fails that the crap of life happens in that 12 month when you should be active. But you'll never have to worry about that if you are just focused on being active every month. Then hard month comes, you're just like, you know what, I had to deal with my, with my parent that had surgery and my kid, you know, and all of this stuff. Then you could say, but I know I'm okay because I was active last month, right? Like still try to be active, but you've got a cushion. When you're not giving yourself a cushion, you're actually making the business harder on yourself because then what happens? You term, you come back. You term, you come back. You didn't do anything for five months, then you try to do something and you're making it harder on yourself because in all that time you could be working and selling, all of the people that you could have been working and sell, working with and selling to, have now found a visible consultant that can serve their needs. They have left you. So you're making it harder on yourself. So the, these first two things are crucial, okay? You have to be active every single month, 200 PRV, and you have to be visible, okay? You have to be putting yourself out there. You have to be talking about it. You have to be sharing why you love it. You have to, you just have to be visible, okay? Not just on social media, in person, Okay, where are the shirts that say Cincy on them? Okay, hand out your business card, pass out samples. Okay, you have to be visible. Okay, number three, those two are so important, you guys. I can't even, I could have just done a whole video on those two things, but I think you get what I'm saying. Okay, so let's move on. Number three, attend events. When you show up, you go up. Okay, it's important to put yourself in an environment of liked minds. If you want something with this business, you have to show up. You have to be visible. Go to events. World tour is a big deal. It's local to you. Go to world tour. Find a way. Let your business propel you. Let your business allow you the funds to attend because it's what helps you grow. It's what will help you not term again. Okay, it's what will help you if you're not terming and you're just a you're just a relaunch person watching this right now. That's great. This is what's going to help you relaunch, so that you never term. Okay, uh, that's number three. Attend events, even and let me just say this: even if it's virtual, even if even if your your leader sends you a link and says, you know, here's an online training I want you to attend, attend it. Okay, attend it. Sorry, got it phone call. Am I still recording? Yes. <laughs> okay. So still attend the event. Okay. I want you to still attend the event. Um, if your, if your leader says, Hey, team dinner tonight, attend the event, put yourself with like minded people so that you can all grow together. Okay. You'll never turn because you're present. You're present in your business. You're showing up. Okay. Number four sponsor. I can't stress this enough. Every time I feel down and out about my business and I sponsor somebody, I am filled with the passion and the excitement of newness of new life being breathed into my own business while I'm helping a new consultant and watch her build or him build a life into their business. Okay. Sponsor, sponsor people. And there's accountability there, right? If you've watched me before, you've heard me say this. It's like going to the gym. When you have a friend that you're going to the gym with, Okay, you hold each other accountable, right? Like, oh, I don't want to get up at 5 a.m. Well, you're getting up at 5 a.m. because I'm getting up at 5 a.m. Okay, I'll see you there. And you show up because there's accountability. Okay, so sponsor. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to sponsor. Just do it. Uh, number five, ditch the comfort zone. Yes, I said it. Get it out of here. Stop sitting in your comfort zone. If you termed in your back, part of the reason you termed is likely because you sat in a comfort zone. You didn't try new things. You didn't do the trainings. Um, you were too afraid to go to the events, right? You were too afraid to be visible. You stayed behind, you know, in the curtain of your invisibility. And what happens? You're either struggling with your business and you termed and you're coming back. Okay. So, ditch the comfort zone, try something new, go to the team dinner. Don't be afraid to meet people that are, that are just right where you're at. Okay. Grow together, get rid of that comfort zone, try new things and meet new people. Okay. If this isn't working for you, if you're comfortable with it, but it's not doing anything for you, 
Like you're going to have to try something new, something that might scare you a little bit. I've done it so many times and nine times out of 10, probably even more than that. I'm happy that I tried something new because it worked. Okay. So ditch the comfort zone. Number six, and this is a big one, participate in your team page. You know, we have a team Facebook group. Uh, we have several team Facebook groups. Your directors have team Facebook groups. Your superstar directors have team Facebook groups. Uh, get involved in them. It is not just for the leader to post. Post your questions. Post your successes. Um, post your struggles. Okay, we all struggle. Guys, like, post your struggles. Let's talk them out. Let's, let's hear from people that had the same struggle and found a solution, okay? Participate on the team page. It's not just reading material, and it's not something to just scroll past. It's there as a tool to help you. It's there as a tool to build community. Allow it by participating, okay? Be an active participant in your business. Be visible. You'll show up. Okay, so those are the never, ever, ever term again, six tips for a successful Cincy business restart. I am so excited to welcome you back. I am so excited to help you relaunch. This is going to be the time that it sticks. I just know it and I'm so excited to walk alongside you while we do the thing. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit like and subscribe for my channel. Thanks guys. Bye.